One of the most common questions regarding Dialux Evo is how do I deal with projects where I have no CID plan, no w DWG, no DXF, but a simple sketch. It could be like this. There's a building and it may have any length in these directions. It's just that I have this large room to draw and a smaller room here and a larger room there with dimensions indicated here like 15 meters and 12 meters and 5 meters and 2 meters and this could be for example 3 by 5 and whatsoever other dimensions you may have in mind. Then there are windows from here over there probably three round windows in these places, an entrance door here, double winged, like this, opening these directions, and these are round, 80 centimeters for example. And I would do that using helplines or reference lines, a grid, and I'm going to show you now how this works. I begin clicking on just the outdoor and building planning, and I begin with absolutely nothing. So I draw a new building without having the CID plan. And I can begin at any position here on my plan. And I get a feeling about the size that I'm doing when I look on the left side. I see I'm having a building of 27 meters now. And as our building has a Y direction of about 18 and a little bit more meters, this should be absolutely enough. So let me extend it to the right. and. Now it's absolutely rectangular, having 90 degrees angle on each corner. So that's the place in which I'll be integrating my rooms. Before I do that, I adjust the story height to 4 meters, as the largest room is 4 meter high, while the others are 320. So let's do the interior contour. That's what I would do first in this place. Therefore, I'd like to use helplines. I do a uh, reference line here in this place, spanning from one side to the other. I could even extend it a bit so it's easier to be found. Then a parallel line below at 25 centimeters distance. 25 centimeters, that goes in this place. And you see he's taking it to the upper side, so I'm making it minus 25 centimeters. So that's the first line here. And then I do the same thing along the other axis. Here I'm thinking about 50 centimeters will be correct. So that's the line. I'm extending it to the outside of the building just for better visibility. It's not technically necessary. And here I have 50 centimeters distance, 50 centimeters. So that's the corner where the large room will begin. And you probably remember it's 17 meters wide and it's 30 meters deep with an edge here in this place. So I'm using a reference grid beginning here, spanning downwards and to the right. Now I can just easily count because I have a standard distance of one by one meter. So it's just a 17 meters line I have to go here. Let's do the interior then. Interior contour beginning here in the corner counting to the right side, 17 meters, and I can verify it so I don't have to count it each number by number. On the left side, I have 17 meters now. Now I have to go down 10. There I am. It snaps to the right place. 12 meters to the left. It should be here, correct. Three down. And a turn over here. And then click right and close the polygon. That's the way I can achieve that very quick. Now let's take the helpline grid and install it to this place. Now it would be enough to place it 25 centimeters below. This is one approach on how to, you could do things. I would like to show you a second one as well. So take this helpline because I'll be needing it down here. Again, 25 centimeters distance from one room to another. And the other room is 3.5 meters by 5 meters. And there's a second way of doing it. I use the helpline grid once again. This way and that direction. 
And now I'm making the reference line grid 5 meters here and 3.5 in the other direction, which means that one square of this grid reflects the size of this room. Snap it correctly. And I'm done. Very quick. So I won't be needing this at this moment. I have the same distance in this place. And I'll be using that helpline as well. So moving it to this corner. Now it's 25 centimeters. And I want to use this as the end line. So that's where the third room will go. New interior contour from here to there. And now I can count as well on the left side. That's another approach on how you could do it. Six meters down. Six meters. There you are. You can see it on the left side. So this is a way I can construct without having any CAD plan in advance my three rooms. Let's have a look at the project. That's correct. I can delete that obsolete line as well. Now, if I want to suspend or reduce the height of the room, I can include a ceiling, for example, in this place, clearance height, 3.2 meters, ceiling height as well here, 3.2 meters. That's a simple way of doing it. Now I want to add some windows. Here I have an entire glass facade. So going there, standard window, beginning at zero, be 3.2 meters high, and I can draw a new aperture. If I'm using the interior corners of this room, then it will fit automatically. And another two windows or objects I want to place is I want to have three windows here, circular windows, for example, and an entrance door in this place double wing door of two meters width can be constructed like this beginning at zero being two meter high and two meter wide so i can place them or define the size here before i place them use the position instead of drawing and i want to place it exactly in the corner here but i know it has one meter distance from this wall so i'm going here clicking on that window and i can read the position in this place and add another meter to this position. So I've automatically marked that it's one meter distance between here, this corner and that. Now imagine I want to have three circular windows, one in the center and one three meters away from the center. Now I know that this is 30 meters. So the center would be 6.5 meters. So I have the windows at three, five, six, five, nine, five. So let's use the help lines again. Draw a reference line, which will be horizontal, and include a parallel at 3.5 meters. Again, it must be a negative number, because I've been drawing the line from right to left instead of left to right, like I did before. That's where the first window will go. I promised you a circular window, round window. I take the size the way it is, and I can insert it by positioning. You see how he snaps? Wonderful. Now let's take the helpline, move upwards, and I'll be needing two of those now, each at three meters distance. So I can mark the window again because I want to use the same type with the same measurements, and I'll be positioning it here and there. Well, in this way, I can create the entire room and the entire architecture of my project. And when I'm through with that, I could include furniture, all these things in the same manner. And the end result could look like this.